I think Hollywood made the mistake often that, oh no, we can't let black skin tone be dark, even though it is. And there's a way to let everyone look like they look in the real world and be beautiful. I got into cinematography by first realizing it was a job. <laughs> I thought I wanted to be a director for the longest time and then started noticing that all the things I was interested in, how shots are designed, how you cover a scene, how things are lit, the technicalities involved in telling a story with pictures were actually what a good cinematographer did. Telling a story is not just the director's job, it's everyone's job. The very first feature I shot that anyone knew me from was Girl Fight, and Karin Kasama was the director, so there's a lot of unconscious bias. The set should look like a subway. It shouldn't look like a gentleman's club. Hey! Oh, I like that! What's interesting about my arrival to Insecure as a cinematographer is that I was not there at the very beginning. Ava Burkowski and Melina, the producing director, set up a look that was very specific in the beginning of season two. But the exciting thing about coming into the show as an alternating cinematographer, and especially when it already exists, is now I can learn and steal from what they've decided to set up as the storytelling strengths of the show and then bring my own experience. I think an Insecure is a really amazing show because on the surface it's a comedy, but it's really about all these friends' relationships. Whenever the cinematography can show a little more depth to what's happening in the scene and still serve what might be a punchline or what's so smart and insecure is Issa is so smart about the reaction to something someone says is what makes you laugh when you're watching it at home. Do you usually come to these parties? No, I came to see the DJ. Oh yeah, he's good. <laughs> it's a girl. Right, right, right. I think I marched with her. We wanted to set up a different look at the Kiss and Grind. We're short-siding, or what I call short-siding. So even though Issa's looking in the direction we want her to look in, it's uncomfortable because where she is looking, we can't see. But it's also reflecting the story that this is not necessarily an easy conversation for Issa to have. I think what's interesting is he's got less stake in the game than she does. His frame is normal. Good. I'm very good. You know, I'm here with my girls, out here doing my thing, just living single. One of the things that I really liked that they were using in the show to help tell the story was very shallow depth of field. One of my favorite shots is two characters in front of a bar, and the advantage of the very shallow depth of field in certain scenes is it pulls the actors off of the background and you know that they're having this very intense moment. The lighting on this is warm light and it's actually coming from the china lanterns in the frame. The softer or more natural the light is, the more naturally it's gonna fall on your face. The very first films I shot being mixed race casts, I've just grown up shooting skin tones of different colors. The thing that I'm most excited about as a cinematographer is telling stories about situations and people I'm not familiar with. If all the stories I ever helped tell were just my own, that would be pretty boring pretty quick. It's more exciting to me to help tell the story of someone I'm learning about while I'm telling the story too.